and another one what's up people Manner here coming to you with a video this time we are going to be unboxing a very well made and reasonably priced item that is giving Fitbit a run for its money the item in question is the YoFit fitness tracker and these are the contact information of the item and unlike the Fitbit the entry point or the entry price for this item is under $30 uh, at that price point you cannot go wrong box is pretty sturdy pretty well packaged this is the device this is a quick setup guide these are diff the different color variants that you can get i personally went with black these are the website details and this is what's included in the box uh, they are not sending you extra charging uh, devices because everybody has a usb port on their computer or they can use the phone adapter also uh, that's where they are doing the price cutting but Having said that, just because the price is low doesn't mean it doesn't do all the stuff that you want it to do. It's uh, relying on your cell phone to download an app and work with that app uh, to get the data storing done. Uh, keep in mind, this is a entry level device. People are always carrying their cell phone. Uh, right off the back, the device has a label thing on it. Let me peel that off. And this is the device. While this device is listed as a device that can be used by kids uh, based on the size of the wristband, it is approximately nine inches. So unless your wrist is nine inches, yeah, you're gonna be fine. This is what the device looks like. You can switch between the modes by tapping on the bottom button. So let me download the app and you will need a Bluetooth cell phone uh, to work on it. Hopefully you have a Bluetooth cell phone just go to the play store and download the cc band app the app is getting downloaded it's a 16 megabyte app and it's also available on ios and android and for the charging part if you have a charge port just plug the just plug the watch right into the charge port or usb port of your pc or the usb port uh, that you're using on a laptop and this is what I definitely like about this app. While you have an option to register, you do have an option of skipping it. So that is amazing. It requested me to go through the setup option to see if it can read right to my device. And uh, now it's turning on the Bluetooth. And to pair the device, it's pretty simple. Just click on the bottom link button. And right off the back, it picks it up instantly. That is amazing. And just click on the button. And once you have connected the device, it's going to show you the connect. Uh, window interesting uh, from the device you can see how much battery life is left that is the sleep or the step counter so if you're walking it will count your steps it'll check your the heart rate monitor i guess and it has two different modes static and dynamic and it also checks your sleep so it is also a sleep monitor which definitely is good and on the dashboard even without registering it does give you the record history the it can you can set up goals on the settings, you can get uh, alert notification for text, SMS, wrist sensor, time monitor, I guess, for SMS notification alerts. So if you want to set up uh, alerts for WhatsApp, Skype, etc., you can actually get that set up. It has a detailed frequently asked question section, and you can even set up uh, the, the firmware updates. And the best part, the time is right there. So right now it's 3.18. So it's actually 3.19, so it's going to show you the time. And the thing that I'm li really liking about uh, this watch is some of the devices uh, will continuously record your heart rate. This one, you have an option of telling it to record it at time, or you can tell it to record it dynamically. That way it will record it as it's taking place. So this is definitely a positive. Uh, the sleep monitor thing, <laughs> I'm not able to test it out right now because I'm awake. So I'm not asleep, so that's not going to work. And if you want to charge it, let me remove the watch. And that's a green light, annoying light. Let me turn the heart rate thingy off because I had set it on uh, dynamic mode. It's going to continuously blink. And as soon as I told it to stop, it stopped and it's no longer wasting your battery. 
and in order to see where exactly the usb port is on the back of the watch they do have the thing listed right there just very carefully from the side using the instruction put the band off from the left or the right side like this so that's what you do do not uh, pull it straight forward so don't pull yank it off like that pull it either from the left to the right and that's how you take it off that's the usb port just plug it in and you'll be good overall this is a really nice product if you're a health nut or you just are looking for a smartwatch to try it out what it feels like uh, this will be definitely a great product to test out definitely a big thumbs up from my side and thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys and girls on the next one later people bye